This is the new Design 5HYD series mobile green dryer. Part 1, brief introduction for each part. This is the feeding elevator. Through this inspection video, a window, you can check the feeding belt working condition. The electric motor and reducer on top needs to be greased before working. Here is the heat supply part. Normally, we use gas generator for coal. Here, exchange equipment for wood and diesel. And gas burner. Let's move to the black part, the fair box part. The black part is firebox. Through this hole, you can check the gas burning condition. The hole on top is green feeding hole, and the fans supply cooling air. This is the rotary drum, main part of the dryer machine. This one is used for fixing the rotary drum when transporting. This bearing needs to be greased for every 15 days, means grease once for 15 days. This engine oil of this reducer needs to be injected once a month. This is a driving motor. Two groups of synchronous, synchronous driving motors in total on this machine. This is the induced draft fan. And this one is the air volume adjusting valve. This is the temperature sensor to monitor the temperature in the drum. This is the discharge hole. This is the power distribution and control box. This big one is drum controller. And this rotary knob adjusts drum rotary speed. This smaller one controls feeding speed and volume. There are switches for controlling induced draft fan, cooling air fan, and air blow fan, for gas and, and standby switch and emergency stop button. It needs to be at ground lead before working. The thermometer shows the working temperature. Voltmeter which needs 308 voltage 550HZ. Here is the power supply switch and power injector for each equipment. These four supporters need to be put down and adjusted evenly before running the machine. The part two, operation specification. One, ignition. First, you need to turn the supply switch, turn on the air blow fan. Second, ignition sequence. Turn on the gas supply, adjust air blower fan, 
turn it up a little. Then turn on the gas valve. Turn on alarm switch. Press ignition button. Adjust air blower by the butterfly valve. Check fire through eyepiece until you see blue fire. The blue fire is the best condition in a fire box. Second, run rotom drum. First, you need to press the first button and open the air blower. Second, turn on the main part switch. Adjust the rotary knob. The top numbers show the running speed, rotary speed. Normally, need adjust the speed on the top, so the number shows 40. 3. Check the temperature in the thermometer when the temperature reaches 100 degrees. Turn on the feeding controller. Adjust the feeding volume according to the watermelon seed's moisture. If the discharged watermelon seed moisture can reach the date, turn down the feeding controller to decrease feeding volume to make sure the finished watermelon seeds reach the moisture date. If it still doesn't work, then turn down the running speed until the discharged watermelon seeds moisture up to the date. Stop stopping procedure. First, turn down the feeding controller to zero, then Press the top button on feeding controller. Second, 10 minutes later, turn off the gas valve. The gas valve is also the, the ball, va ball valve. 3. Alarms when, when turn off the gas valve, it means that the fire in the firebox extinguished. 4. Turn off the alarm. 5. Wait until all the watermelon seeds in rotary drum comes, comes out. Turn down the rotary drum knob to zero, then press the stop button. Six, press the first button to stop the air blower. Seven, turn off the power supply. Setup procedure. This is the front view front wheel needs to be set up in the front.
there is a pin on the front wheel. Make sure the pin aims at the central hole and put it down is okay. This is the black wheel to bearing the machine. Put the rear axle like this way and fasten the screw. The elevator should be installed here like this. There are four screws to fix the elevator. Fix this four screw is okay.